Yes, so. How'd you start Automotive Anatomy? <laughs> Welcome to Automotive Anatomy. Uh, Welcome to Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to the Motor Miami. Today I have Izzy. Izzy, thank you so much, man, for making the time for us, man. I yeah, appreciate it. I know it's really, it's really chilly today, yeah, it's and cool. I think you're running like on two hours of sleep. So yeah, I appreciate yeah, that, man. Okay. Tell us, man, what do you drive? So uh, my name is Israel de Jesus, or Izzy. That's what everybody knows me as. Um, I drive a 1993 Honda Civic hatchback, and I've had it for four years. Four years, nice. So tell us a little bit, about where did you pick that up, and how did you end up with the EG? Uh, well, I picked it up at a used car dealership of all places. Um, I found it on Craigslist. They wanted like twelve hundred bucks or a thousand dollars. I can't remember. Oh, it's wow, been, that's it's not been a, yeah, it's been a minute. Um, and so I asked for the address. I went to go check it out. It was at a used car dealership. Somebody had traded it in for something. And uh, yeah, so I checked it out, and I was like, yeah, this car needs a lot of work. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I actually ended up talking them down to five hundred for the car. No way. So I picked this car for five hundred dollars. It owed like eight hundred in back fees. Oh, okay. There yeah. You go. Um, so I used that as leverage. But yeah, it's a five hundred dollar car from a used car dealership. And four years later, it's nothing like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> so when you picked it up, um, what was your vision for it? This actually, um, almost everything that you see on this car is exactly how I wanted it. Um, I went through a lot of stages with this car, mainly because I was like a broke 18-year-old uh, kid. But, um, well, no, I wasn't 18. I was I was 20. Yeah, four years ago. Yeah, I was 20. Um, but, yeah, so I went through a lot of stages with this car, a lot of replica parts, just a lot of hand-me-down shit from friends. And, uh, yeah, I mean, but the ultimate vision was this. What we see now? Yeah. Almost, almost exactly how you see it. It's never going to be done, right? No, never. Right. Never. Never going to be done. But almost exactly how you see it is exactly how I wanted the car to look. Um, it's not crazy or anything, but it's exactly what I wanted. Interesting point that you said. It's interesting how you wanted it. You're constantly working. Tell us a little about your YouTube channel. Um, what can we expect um, for people that tune into your channel? Yeah. And what's the name of it? Okay. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I guess I'll take this opportunity to let everybody know how to pronounce my username. Thank you, because I always <laughs> pronounce it wrong. Yeah, so a lot of people always ask me, how do you say your username? What, what the heck does that mean? Uh, so my username is Izzy Still You Diggin'. And that comes from one of my favorite bands, uh, and they're called Mice and Men. And they have a song called Still You Diggin'. So I just put Izzy Still You Diggin'. Uh, and huh. that's, how it, yeah, that's how it came about. Um, one of my favorite songs by them. And, I Honda Vlogs is not easy still YDGN. Yeah, no, it's not YDGN. It's not still do you ink, <laughs> like no. I say it. <laughs> One mystery it's, solved. Yeah, it's easy still you do. Um, I've been trying to do the YouTube thing on and off for quite some time, but recently I've uh, started to take it a little bit more serious. I had two channels. I had one for like where I'd just upload random stuff, and then I deleted that one and I kept the other one, and I uh, that's where I'm actually putting more effort into it. It's pretty much just what I kind of do on a daily, well, not a daily basis because I do a lot of random stuff on a daily basis that I think is just like too much. I mean, there's <laughs> days where I don't do anything, but for the most part, I always try to just film or vlog something that has to do with my car, my truck, or my Grom. Um, so if you tune into my channel, I have a whole playlist of pretty much doing the body work on this car. I started doing that earlier this year because uh, I really wanted to get the car painted this year. And uh, even if nobody tuned into my YouTube channel, at least I would have that for me to look back on, let's say two, three, four years from now. Uh, it's good memories. Yeah, yeah, good memories. And, uh, and so like one thing that I admire about you is just the fact that, um, yeah, you, not, not only are you actually taking the time to learn because you didn't know how to do yeah, much yeah. of this, the stuff that you're doing. Right. 
you work on your car you know 100 percent on top of that it's just a different weather that you work on it whether it be very 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 hot <laughs> or very 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 cold yeah. and on top of that you're not in a concrete area you're like there's dirt yeah. there's wind there's so that in itself it's it's um something that i de definitely i do admire by you so yeah. please keep documenting that all right easy so tell us what do we got going on in the front end the front end is probably one of my favorite parts about this car um, it's something that i've wanted since i bought the car um, we'll start with the hood pretty simple it's an oem style vis carbon fiber hood <laughs> Um, then we go to the fenders. Those are charge speed fenders. They are 25 millimeters wider than stock. And then come to the front end, uh, to the front bumper, we have the charge speed uh, front lip. And then protruding from the front lip, we have a Cusco Racing tow hook that I got from Eric. Uh, I just recently got that, and I think that was the final touch to the front end. Um, a lot of stuff that gets over, overlooked um, on my front end is I don't have JDM headlights, I don't have USDM headlights, I have European headlights. What's the difference? So these are like the JDM headlights, they have no nipples, they have city lights, but these are made out of glass. Oh, sweet! Yeah, so the JDM ones are plastic, no nipples, they have city lights, um, but the European ones are glass. So it's exactly the opposite of whatever you could imagine. Yeah, so it's like a it's like a USDM and JDM headlight put together. That's cool. Yeah, so I really really wanted these um, because everybody has the JDM ones, um, and I don't really strive to be different. I just like strive to be myself. You know what right. I mean? Um, but yeah, so I really wanted these European uh, headlights. And it's glass, so that's cool. yeah, they're glass, and I love it. You know, right around sunset, just turn on the city lights, and you know, we're good to go. Yeah, it's very clean, very simple. I believe you got the the license plate uh, plugs as well from, yeah. from Eric, right? Yeah, I got the bumper plugs cool. from uh, Eric Mendoza. And uh, yeah, he gave me those right after year 11. He wanted to give them to me at year 11, but it didn't happen. But they're on there now. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. So you kept it very clean. Uh, what are some of the future plans for it? For the, uh, for the front end, nothing. Uh, maybe, maybe add a splitter in the front just to kind of protect the lip. Um, I do plan on road racing the car, a lot more drag racing. Um, so I know the front end's gonna get beat up, mm -hmm. but that's all right. Um, this car's not meant to be a show queen. It's not meant to be pretty all the time. It's gonna get beat up and right. I'm gonna enjoy the crap out of the car. Um, right now, since I just got it back from paint, I just wanna enjoy it. That's why I've been taking it to shows here and there. Right. But uh, yeah, come next year, I'm gonna start drag racing a lot more and I actually wanna go out and road race you know, Fontana, Button Willow, uh, you know, Wherever. Chuck Walla, <clears throat> all that stuff. Um, other than that, the front end will stay the same. All right, tell us a little bit about your suspension pieces. What do we got going on? But currently what it has are, it's a uh, Buddy Club N Plus uh, coilovers. And then uh, I got Willwood four piston brakes in up front. In the rear, I have Function 7 LCAs and I have the Function 7 uh, brace. And I wanted the Function 7 LCA and brace combo since I bought the car and uh, it's on the car. <laughs> so, yeah, it just flows nicely. Yeah, yeah. Um, wheel and tires, uh, 15 by seven, 36 offset, 949 wheel. In the front, I have a 215.50, 15 Achilles ATRK tire. In the rear is a 205.50 uh, Federal RSRR. Um, eventually, I want to go to a 225-45 all around, uh, fill out the rear end a little bit, and get a little bit more meat up front. Um, and uh, sticking with the same wheels? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I, there's a there's a lot of wheels out there that I like, but 949s I've wanted forever in this finish. Um, I had Kose AK ones before, and I love those wheels, but I think because the car got repainted, I wanted a different look, and. Uh, I went with the 949s. I tried to stay away from them because they are known to crack, but oh, I'm really? willing, yeah, I'm willing to take that chance with these. These are the Gen 3. They're supposed to not crack anymore, but uh, yeah, I'm, I was willing to take the chance with these, so. Uh, what kind of side skirts, man? These are Wings West side skirts. These are like the moving style, but these are for a coupe. So I chopped the front of the side skirt. Um, if you look at the front end, the front lip hangs really low. Then the wide fenders also hang kind of low and you know they're really aggressive. The Wings West skirts for the hatch, they're really thin up front, but the coupe ones, they kind of taper. Uh, you know, they, they're really wide at the bottom and they hang really low. 
And then once this starts going to the rear end, it kind of tapers towards the stock body line. And uh, I don't really have too much going on in the rear end. So I thought it was perfect. Right. You know, so it's exactly what I wanted. I honestly think it's the perfect side screen for that front lip. And yeah, it, it complements it very well. Yeah, it hangs really low, mm -hmm. and uh, so does the side skirt up front, and then I like that it tapers towards the rear. Okay, and so. what kind of uh, mirrors? Those are APR uh, GT3 mirrors. Yeah. Walk us through the back. So in the rear end, um, I have a Live Sports spoiler, and I've been wanting this spoiler ever since I laid eyes on it. Uh, thankfully, Eric uh, was able to hook me up with the spoiler. This Eric guy, man. Yeah, that's my deal. <laughs> you say you're gonna call him Papi? Oh yeah, sorry, that's my Papi. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I got the spoiler from Eric. Um, he has no idea what we're talking about because that was through our DMs. <laughs> oh why. yeah, yeah. He's like, True. what? <laughs> True. We'll post a screenshot right here. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Go ahead. No, it's all good, man. But yeah, so you know, it's a live sport rear spoiler, and yeah, I got this from Eric. He, uh, he posted it up for sale, and I didn't, really didn't have the money at the time. So I sent him a DM, and uh, I wasn't really, I didn't really know him at the time. So I was like, damn, is this dude even going to respond to me? Or, you know what I mean? So I messaged him, and I was like, hey, dog, I don't really have the money right now, but I, I can give you a, if God, I give you a deposit. Yeah, that was you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was me. No, but I told him, like, I, if I give you a deposit, can you, will you hold it for me? And he goes, yeah, I'm down for that. So I sent him over some money, and, uh, dude shout out to eric man i think i i think it took me like a month or two to pay him it took me like a month or two to gather up the money and finally give it to him um so yeah that's that's what i got you know that's where i got the wing from i got it from eric so yeah that's a live sport wing and i got a cybon carbon fiber rear trunk which again i've been wanting forever um i got a k2 turned down muffler and uh just that's it that's it? That's it, really. Not much going on here. Uh, small, subtle thing that I really, really like. Um, not a lot of people notice because they really don't notice it. Um, I have JDM bronze glass. Yeah, so the USDM glass has no tint to it. The JDM glass has a bronze tint to it. Um, so uh, tell us, easy. what do we got going on in the interior? The interior is fairly simple. Um, kind of what I wanted from the beginning as well. So it's pretty much just OEM interior, um, OEM door panels, Recaro seats out of an Integra Type R. Um, my favorite part of the interior is definitely my steering wheel setup, um, something that I've been wanting forever. Um, I've always had a Nardi steering wheel. Um, before this Nardi steering wheel, I had a Nardi Classic. And uh, for my birthday, my girlfriend got me this Nardi Deep Corn steering wheel, which I've been wanting. It's what I originally wanted. It's a little bit more expensive than the Classic. So I just went with the Classic because the Classic is nice too. Um, but it's pretty much an NRG hub. Um, I do, I'm thinking about getting a Works Bell uh, steering wheel hub, but I do have a Works Bell tilt hub. Um, so that's pretty cool. I've wanted that since I, see, uh, since I saw one. Uh, not really anything. Well, I guess it's pretty crazy because not too many people have it. Not too many people want to spend the money on it. That little piece alone is like four or five hundred bucks, depending where you get it from. Mm -hmm. But it pretty much just allows you to tilt your steering wheel. You know, if you're in a fixed bucket seat, and you know, I love just it. Tilt, you I just tilt it. the I steering wheel and get out. And you know, how functional it is. Little, yeah, a little race application kind of thing. Um, checkered Sports Shift Knob, K Tune Shifter. Um, I have the, I guess the uh, optional double ding console, but it's kind of beat up. Um, but I do want to change that out for a gray one that's not beat up. This is a black one. Um, I, I think one of my friends gave it to me and I just kind of put it in um, but yeah that's pretty much it what do we got going on what are we staring at man uh, okay so this is an H to B engine setup um, it's kind of funny how this happened it wasn't by choice okay <laughs> yeah. well it wasn't my choice but the car used to be a single cam D16 Z6 when I first bought it, I ended up blowing that motor uh, probably like a year into owning the car. And after that, that's where everything went downhill. Um, I, I didn't I didn't know I wanted an H2B. And uh, I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to throw another single cam in it mm -hmm. and just keep driving the car. My friend Isaac Garcia, uh, he pretty much took initiative for me. And he said, no, we're doing an H2B setup. 
So that's what we got here. We got an HTB um, engine setup. It's actually an F20B long block, um, similar to the H22, um, except it's a two liter, not a 2.2. Um, and it's paired to an Integra Type R transmission with the 47 final drive. Um, small touch that I added was the RBC intake manifold, something you don't really see too often. Um, it always surprises people that it's an RBC intake manifold on there. And uh, it's pretty much it. It's a super simple setup. Super, uh, it's, it's a stock long block, stock transmission, stock uh, intake manifold. And uh, yeah, it's fairly simple. The engine harness, I just put a mesh over it and you know, because I had to cut and splice stuff to make it work. But it's not a aftermarket harness or anything. It's just something that I did myself. I went down to an electronic warehouse and just got some black mesh and uh, just ran it through the harness and that's it. But um, yeah, that's what the engine setup is. It's super simple. Have you dynoed this car? Yeah, I've dynoed the, the car. It uh, It's on nitrous. On It has two tunes on it. It has a tune for the, uh, I guess for the motor, all motor tune, and it makes 190 um, to the wheels, and I think like 160 torque. Um, and then on nitrous, it makes 250. It's just a small shot, nothing crazy. Um, it makes 250 horsepower, and I think it made 190 torque. But uh, I need to retune the car. I made a few changes. Um, I put a bigger throttle body on it now. I'm going bigger injectors. And I'll be porting out the manifold. Yeah, super simple setup. I didn't really want to spend money on cams and valve train right. and all this stuff. So I figured nitrous was easier. All right, easy. Dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time, explaining everything about your car, um, the love that you have for Hondas in general. I really do appreciate that. And I, I really do consider you a friend. Um, just backstory, you actually went to the one and only Carson <laughs> Coffee. You were actually the very first person that showed up after an hour, uh, yeah. about an hour later. I think it was supposed to start at eight. You showed up like a, around nine something. I didn't know you back then. Right. Um, and dude, I almost cried when I saw your car, yeah. a stock, you know, two door Civic. Uh, I was yeah. like, damn, man, like he actually showed up and we're quite a bit, you know, distance wise, we were far away. So yeah. shout out to the people that actually showed up and ended up showing like six, seven, eight other people. So thank you. Um, but just wanted to throw that out there that you actually were the first one and I didn't even know you. So that's why I'm so thankful for you, man. And so um, just let us know uh, any shout outs that you have and um, if any future plans that you forgot, just go ahead. Um, yeah, let me see if I can remember right now. I'm freezing. <laughs> it, it, crazy, huh? This is freezing for us, but uh, all you East Coast guys are probably gonna start complaining. It's like 80 degrees right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm future plans. I'll just touch base again. I really want to race the car some more. Um, that's originally what I wanted to do. Um, I think a car should look nice when it's racing as well. Um, yeah, I mean, there's like drift missiles and stuff like that. Yeah, cool. But, you know, I think cars should look nice when they're racing too. It's not just for show cars. And if it gets beat up, then it gets beat up. Right. That's, that's what it's for. But uh, yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to do some more road racing. Um, and I want to do some more drag racing and just enjoy the car a lot more. Um, the car was down for a really long time between doing the engine swap, between doing the bodywork for the paint. Um, so I just really want to enjoy the car a lot more. So that's really the only future plans that I have. Um, I want to change the interior up a little bit as well. Um, so I'll focus on that uh, come next year. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much it for future plans. Um, shout outs. Man, there's so many people that, uh, you know, not only helped me with the car, but like helped me um, support it, you know, support Stay me. motivated. Yeah, it helped me motivate, stay motivated, you know, help me get off my ass and actually do something to the car because, you know, the car sat for a while. Uh, but, you know, I guess, you know, huge shout out to Isaac Garcia. This car wouldn't be what it is without him. Um, he, uh, he helped me out a lot with this car. He's a super good friend. You know, couldn't ask for a better friend. Um, anything that has, anything that goes on with this car, um, he's always there for me. He always drops what he's doing. Always comes over, gives me a hand, or I can take it to the shop, throw it on the lift. They'll do whatever needs to be done to get this car where it needs to go, um, get it up to shape and all that. Um, shout out to Omar Gonzalez. Um, again, same thing. He helped me out a lot with this car. Um, he provided the engine for me. Um, you know, I mentioned <laughs> I was a broke 20-year-old kid 
Um, and I really didn't have money to do an H to B setup. That's what I just wanted to do a D series. But uh, Omar fronted me the engine, and uh, I was able to pay him off over time. So I owe a lot to Omar. He helped me out a lot with the uh, H to B information. Oh, between Isaac and Omar, those guys are amazing. They do awesome work. They do a lot of side work, so if you guys need some stuff done, hit them up. Uh, Raul Aguilar, um, he's a very good friend of mine as well. Um, he's always been supporting me, pushing me to get the car. Um, always tried to guide me in the right direction. I've known him since I was like 13. So shout out to him. Shout out to Derek Trager over at DT Tuned in Ontario, tuning the car. Again, always taking care of me, whatever this car needs. Um, he makes time to get my car on the rollers. Or if I need something at the track, you know, I'll send it over. Stuff like that. Uh, shout out to my girlfriend. <laughs> Should have been the first thing. <laughs> shout out to my girlfriend Karen um, for uh, dealing with this hobby, I guess. Even though it causes a lot of arguments and stuff like that, you know, she stuck through it. She hated the car at first, but she's grown to love the car. Actually, there's been multiple times where I wanted to sell the car, and the only reason why I didn't sell it is because she doesn't want me to sell it. She wants me to keep the car. This is what she wanted to see too. She never really understood why my friends and myself would stay up till two, three, four, five in the morning. Sometimes not even sleep, you know, just to get stuff done. But you know, she understands now that it's not just a car. It's more than a car. You know what I mean? It's a passion, and it brings people together. So, um, shout out to Rick, you Dave, or I don't know how to say his last name, but that's my grandpa Rick. Yeah. He's always helping me out with this car too. He's able to get me um, parts that I need from Honda. Um, super, super hookup stuff that I didn't even know was available still. He got me the roof moldings, the, uh, the door moldings, and a few other pieces. I'm sure there's a lot more people that I'm missing. Uh, nothing personal. It's just super cold. I can't really think right now. <laughs> That's fine. But uh, yeah. Um, Thanks, thanks for watching. Appreciate you coming out. Well, you know, from my end, thank you so much, man. I, I, I really had fun. Thank you, thank you. It's always a good time with you, and I know we, we keep in contact. Uh, I think I keep in contact more than, you know, people I know longer. And, yeah. and, and so that's good. You keep motivating me. So um, thank you so much, man. Please continue uh, on the YouTube journey, uh, creating those experiences. And, uh, yes, we'll definitely see more of you at car meets, events, and just hanging out stuff. So thank you so much, Easy, and uh, keep building, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs>